On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, it's the battle of the bulldogs in the Odom household. French bulldog Rufus and English bulldog Jojo are at war on a daily basis. When Rufus attacks Jojo, it can be pretty vicious. He latches onto his face and holds on really hard. What's happening in my home with my pets is taking a toll on me physically. I get migraines. I was just in the emergency room last week. I am exhausted. I, I need help. And now we want to introduce you to Jojo. Come on over. Unfortunately, okay. we have to keep him in a cage. Jojo's kept in here. Why? Because Rufus will attack. Rufus oh. will attack Jojo. So we can't let them both free at the same time, or they'll be a problem. Oh, dear. But if I have Rufus on a leash, he won't attack him. OK. Jenny told me that as long as Rufus is on a leash, he doesn't attack Jojo. So I asked her to put Rufus on a leash and then take Jojo out so I could see how Rufus behaved around him. Circling, circling, and he looks for a moment when... Oh, 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 oh help me, help me, help me, help me! Oh, come on. That's, so it does happen when he's on fault. the leash. That's no, my fault. That's a first. That's a first. Wow. Oh, 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 no, what's no, going no, on? No. Let's put, we'll put him back in there for now. I'm sorry, Jojo. Rufus, why? It's really worrying to witness a dog fight in the first place, but it's even more worrying to witness a dog fight with a dog that bites and holds. Biting and holding during a fight and then ragging is extremely dangerous and can cause severe injury and in certain cases, death. Once the dust settles, Victoria sees the enormous impact the fighting has had on Jenny. Your reaction now, is this something that you experience all the time then? Well, it takes, it just doesn't happen right away, but afterwards I start feeling depressed about it. Mm, absolutely, okay. It's a lot. Yeah, okay. Jojo is put in, as it were, social isolation for a little while throughout the day while Jojo's enemy, Rufus, the French bulldog, is able to run around. And throughout the day, they're rotated. So each dog spends a certain amount of time in the cage while the other dog is running free. So has this fighting caused you to be ill? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's given me migraines. I've ended up uh, in the emergency room with situations from being emotional, I think, from it. Yeah. Well, she also has uh, uh, lupus, so the stress. Oh, lupus the stress. Is stress. I can't have stress because it attacks my organs. Wow. OK, so this is pretty serious. This, this is the situation's very serious. very serious. OK. Yep. OK. The stress from the dogs recently made Jenny so ill that she convinced her friend KJ to take Jojo away Hello. for a while. Hello, Hi. it's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. So you were the one who took Jojo, yes? Yes, ma'am. So tell me, tell, tell me what happened. I, it was unbearable. I mean, I didn't want to get out of bed. And the only thing I could do at this point is call KJ and said, please take my dog. So I agreed to come down here and I, I met Jojo and we kind of bonded right away. Pretty soon, we just kind of kind of become a team. When did Jojo come back? When did you? Did I brought him back a few days ago after Jenny told me she was starting to feel better. As tight as we've, you know, gotten, I, I still see how much Jenny really loves him and really wants to be able to make it work so that he can be a part of the family because she misses him desperately when he's not here. So ideally, I would like for that to happen. But for now, I, I miss him not having him there. So you say you take him if things didn't work out here. That's right? Absolutely. I, I would be more than happy to give him a good home. OK. Well, thank you for coming thank in. You. And, um, you know, we'll see how things go here. Bye. Bye. See you. Now, it's time for her to give the couple a reality check. First of all, Jojo, you bring him into your home, and from day one, there are fights with Rufus. And that's psychologically damaging to both dogs. You're the ones that choose your friends for your dogs. You have to make sure that everybody does get on. And when that doesn't happen, you have fights like this happen. All I'm worried about is that Jojo now, psychologically, is getting very used to being attacked, being attacked and now is attacking back. 
and that could be translated onto other dogs. But I will still tell you, there's still things that I need to do with Jojo and Rufus to see if this situation is salvageable. I think I'm putting myself in a ridiculous situation, hoping and praying that everything will be okay. I got the wrong mix of dogs. If I must get rid of some of the dogs, then I must. Well, that's, again, you're going to be your choice that you make. I am not going to make that decision for you. I give you information. And the next three days, I'm going to take you through what you can do. Jojo should not be stressed out anymore. So I think that it's the best thing for Jojo. OK. Well, if you made your decision, I completely respect that. Yeah. I had planned to do more work with Rufus and Jojo, do more assessments and see, could they live together? Or really, would Jojo need to be rehomed? but she wanted to rehome Jojo. Even though Victoria said she would continue to work with Rufus and Jojo, and she left it up to me, I felt it was very selfish of me to keep Jojo here. With the heart-wrenching decision made on Jojo's future, Jenny calls her friend KJ, who has offered to take Jojo into his home. I think that Jojo's gonna be a better off moving with me because he's gonna be the only dog in the household, he's going to get sole attention. At least he won't have to worry about being left out uh, at the place he calls home. You know, with bulldogs, unfortunately, they are genetically compromised because of the way they've been bred. Their features have almost been bred to the point where they're now so grotesquely off what they used to be. And they're one of my favorite breeds. But I also think that breeders have gone way too far with breeding them, so now they have so many breathing problems and health problems, and their, their, their legs are too short and too small to su really support the weight of their body. Heads are so big that mothers can't give birth naturally. They have to be done by cesarean section. You know, so obviously, owning a dog like this, it is going to be an expense, because you will probably be constantly at the vet. Um, and that's the unfortunate side of, of it. Um, but. If you, man if you keep the folds in his face, you keep him clean so there's no infection there. And obviously his eyes, is he going to have to have surgery on his eyes? Um, yeah, KJ and I took him to an ophthalmologist. He does need surgery and they're saying that he needs a different kind of surgery. Soft palate surgery so, too. Um, so, they said his is pretty bad. Yeah, at this point we just decided, you know, uh, since KJ is um, assisting us with the dog, that we'll assist with the finance of the surgery at this time. Very good. Because okay. he needs it. So then, yeah, because obviously, if he lies in a position, his back, his tongue is going to just fall back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He said summer is much worse, you know, really? and you have to be careful playing with him because they don't realize how much oxygen they're not getting if they get too excited. Mm. So okay. sometimes we have to take a break. Okay. All of this love is great, and that's going to bring up the, the beautiful bond. But if I want to ask him to do something, I need to get the dog's attention. Okay. What? Good boy. To help build the bond between KJ and Jojo, Victoria introduces the watch me command. Watch. Good. Very good. And the reason why I like it is that it's so powerful because it gets the dog's focus onto you. And that's a great connection. So I want you to do that with him. All right. So get him. You put it in front of his nose. You put it up to your eye and you say, watch me. <laughs> Don't let him jump up. watch. Beautiful. That was an amazing moment because I realized that this is going to work. You know, he does know who I am and he is going to listen to me. Good. Building up that language of communication. That's going to be so important for this dog, all right? Because remember, you got a headstrong bully breed here. It's so clear that Jojo already has a great bond with KJ. And I have no doubt that this is going to be a perfect match. So, time to go, huh? Go on. Bye. Bye. I'll see you later. See you. See you later, KJ. It was sad to see Jojo go. And of course, Jenny's very upset by it. But Jojo is going to be so much more successful so much less stressed. Separating is not easy. No, it's not. Mm -mm. 
I know that it's the right thing to do. I know KJ's gonna love him. I just know everything's gonna work out. JoJo is settling in quite well. He no longer has scratches on his head. Um, he doesn't get bullied. So he just all around seems to be like such a happy dog now. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.